Welcome to Miked Up, coming to you from churchmilitant.com, the leader in Catholic news and information. I'm Rodney Pelletier, in for Michael Voris this week. There's a saying popularized by Andrew Breitbart that politics is downstream from culture. And we've been seeing this in culture, or the lack of it, for decades now. Hollywood's been pushing feminism and hatred for the sanctity of innocent human life, of marriage, and the family. We've been seeing evil pushed as being good with all kinds of sexual perversions touted as being normal human behavior. All this is going on while good is condemned as intolerant, backwards, and even evil. We're living in a truly wicked age. But we can go even further to say that culture is downstream from religion. It's religion, or lack of it, that forms people morally, and what's right and wrong determines how people act and view the world. This is the bigger crisis, and it's one that we at Church Militant talk about every day. But it's not all bad. Some filmmakers are still making films that are not just uplifting, but they're actually beautiful and speak to the mysteries of salvation. A movie that came out earlier in the year is Paul, Apostle of Christ, an amazing movie about the last days of St. Paul in prison in an early Christian community in Rome. When we come back, we'll watch a conversation between Michael Voris and Eric Groth, one of the executive producers of Paul the Apostle Christ, and he'll tell us all about the making of this great and beautiful movie. We'll be right back. All right, everybody, welcome back here to uh, this week's edition of Miked Up. We are extremely humbled, honored, excited to have with us as our guest, as we already told you, Eric Groth. Eric Groth is the dude. He's the executive producer of St. Paul the Apostle, a movie. Eric, how are you? And I got to say, my goodness, as I told you during our warm-up, I loved this. I took about 14 of us, I think, here from the Apostle, over, over a dozen on uh, opening night, and I sat there in the back seat, and I just bawled at the end of it. It was beautiful. Yeah, I, I mean, absolute hats off. It was beautiful. Oh, praise God. Thank you. We're, uh, it was a privilege and a joy to, to produce the film, no doubt. <laughs> I got to tell you, for about the first, I don't know, first you know, few minutes once Jim Caviezel, Jim was on screen, I was like, wait a minute, that's confusing me. Wait, 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 wait. He's Luke. No, he's Jesus. Wait, he's Luke. He's Jesus. <laughs> oh, we, we, had, we had moments on set. It was, it was a thrill. We had moments on set where we're watching Jim and we're like, you know, there's Jim Caviezel playing Jesus, playing Luke in our film, you know. I mean, just those moments of it just kind of drew you into that, what he did in The Passion. Yeah, right, right. that was great. Yeah, no, no, but I, I got to tell you, it was hats off. And one of the things I'd just like to, you know, share with the audience, any of our regular viewers or people who have been to any of the talks we've given or, you know, seen much of our programming will know that one of the things I'm always saying is that, uh, while of course we have great devotion to the saints and cults to various you know uh, you know saints and devotions and all that sort of thing and they belong up on the stained glass windows and da da da, that you gotta also bring into that sort of the the uh, dimension the relatable dimension. I mean these right. people are up on these windows not because they had a vision but because they struggled through this life and picked up these enormous crosses. I mean, that's why they're saints. 